many of our male students pause their education for two years to serve in the armed forces. When our students complete their service, we are committed as a university to ensure that these students have a smooth transition back to academic life upon returning from service. Our campaign, honoring those who served investing in our veterans' education, is an essential part of supporting our veteran students. We value their contribution to Armenia and we want to express our gratitude for their service by establishing an endowed scholarship fund that will support them by providing scholarships and on-campus services. I've served in Gharabakh in uh, the region of Jabrail. Uh, it's a border region and I've served during the April War. During the night of April the 1st, uh, I was on my military duty and I was patrolling in the, my base and we could hear that something really strange is going on on the border and after a few hours we got a warning that we have to uh, go to our combat uh, positions and that's when we realized that we are actually in a war. I served in Armenian military forces from 2015 to 2017. I've been a soldier for more than one year when April was started. After the war, I felt depressed during the rest of my service. When I returned from the army, one day my friend, my former classmate, contacted me telling that AUA appointed him as a peer mentor for me. I really appreciate it and I would like for others to have more support after returning from the army. We're a group of three professional counselors ready to support the students to achieve their possible best, be it at AUA or beyond. AUA is committed to providing quality education for students with various background, age, experience. One of the special groups is a group of veterans. At academic units, we are taking care of their reintegration to our university life. Uh, we are starting the process before they come back. We send course materials, electronic books, and they are getting prepared for the start of the semester. I've been in military in 2015 and 16, and I participated in the April Four Day War when our military unit was passing through the Martyr Air City. And uh, through the window, I can see like people living there, collecting, gathering their things, trying to run to escape from the bombing. And I was like there by poor chance. I was doing my duty, but the people lived there. They were they were born there, raised there, and they have all their life and memories there. And we came back. We, I was having troubles finding my cross classrooms and which classes to take, I didn't know anything. But the AUA community was very warm. Our students, the teachers, lecturers, professors, and they helped us to integrate very quickly back to the community and they helped us to understand what we did at last two years, but what we did was very helpful and uh, important job for our country and our people. AUA is not just a university, it's a a uh, big community, it's a family where everyone is friendly to each other. AUA helps our students to readjust back to the civilian life. And our students can come to us to get help, to refresh their English, to ask questions or to meet with a counsellor. But most importantly, AUA helps our students by giving hope. Because when they are in the army and they still have a year or a year and a half to serve, they need to have something to look forward to. When our soldiers get a vacation and come back home for just a few days, they always come to visit anyway. It is very nice to see them healthy, stronger, more mature. It is incredible to know that there is a university in this country that supports and values its veterans. Շատ եմ հպարտանում մեր տղայով, որ հիմա ծարայումը պաշտպանում ամ մեր հայրենիքը սպասում եմ, որ գան որից սովորի պավարտի ինսիտութը, որ մեր նպատակներին հասնեք։ Անչապ ուրախ ենք, եվ շնորակալ ենք ամերեկյան համալցրանին, որ ա� Նույնիսկ հնարավոր չէ երևի բարերով նկարագրել, թե 
ինչքան դժվար է ինչքան ծանր է այդ կարոտի եւ անհանգստության զգացումը բայց մխիթարվում ես այն մտքով որ դա անհրաժեշտ է որ քո որդին որը զինվոր է ապահովում է քո երկրի հանգստությունը անդորը անվտանգությունը անչափ շնորհակալ եմ եւ իմ որդուն եւ բոլոր այն երիտասարդներին որոնք նրա կողքին են որոնք այսօր ծառայում են ես շատ հպարտ եմ որ իմ որդին զինվոր է The atrocities committed by the neighboring country left many traumatized in 2016 April. However, I was one of those veterans when returning back to AUA, I felt a very strong sense of appreciation and support from the AUA community. And the Armenian diaspora has surely ensured that everyone feels appreciated and taken care of. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and from the veterans community for every investment that you have made. because it is life changing and it allows us to gain our power back I had the pleasure to meet some of the veterans uh, when I was in Armenia they've given so much to Armenia their role at securing our land is very important now through AUA they have the chance of learning at a stellar institution We take care of them, we secure their future, they will secure the future of Armenia. You look them in the eye and you know that they've actually faced death and danger in defending their homeland. And all they're asking for is a little help to get an education and give them a chance to survive in their country. And the best part about it, from everybody we've met through AIA, is they want to stay in Armenia. They want to help Armenia. We believe the best leaders of tomorrow are ones that have served in their country and educated in their country. For AUA to commit to an education that includes excellence and promise to a military student is something of a gift. So soldiers, my hats off to you. You give your life, we give your education. With your support for our Honoring Those Who Have Served campaign, we'll be able to realize our dreams in supporting those who are about to be conscripted and those who come back. We need to ensure that they'll be successful at AUA and even beyond AUA into their future.